Hey, and welcome back to your number one source for cozy gaming and design content. I'm Nick, and today we're going to take a look at a piece of design I personally think exemplifies what it means to make a delightful product. The LTT screwdriver. Now is it good? Well, we'll just have to keep watching to find out. For those of you unfamiliar with the tech YouTube space, which I suspect isn't that many of you given the thumbnail for this video, but for those of you who aren't in the know, one of the largest and most popular tech YouTube channels on the platform, and one of my personal favorites, is one by the name of Linus Tech Tips. The basic rundown is that they do videos about mainly PC tech and building and a lot of other more informative content around the PC space as a whole. They are massive from a TechTube standpoint, and have a rather positive standing with their community in terms of objectivity and honesty. More pertinent to this video's topic, however, is their merch model. It's probably one of the best I've ever seen, and I personally think they do a great job avoiding a lot of the quality issues you usually find with YouTuber merch and merch as a whole. I think this screwdriver is a perfect case study of their values as a product company, and I think a lot of the product design world could learn a lot from their products and their development process. But before I get into why this is my favorite screwdriver, let's talk about what it has to offer. Now, the main function of a screwdriver is simple, screw things. But how that function is achieved is a bit more interesting. There are two main ways you can achieve that goal. The first, and generally the cheapest, is to make your screwdriver a fixed shaft, which is just what it sounds like. You have a metal shaft, which has a driver on the head and a handle on the other. These have the advantage of being very robust. They can be made in a variety of sizes and are cheap to manufacture. And if you just need one or maybe two drivers, this is great. But the second you need a smaller, larger or more specialty driver head to be able to unscrew other kinds of screws, this becomes a bit of an issue, and you'll have to buy a new driver for each kind of screw you want to be able to unscrew. That is where our second option comes in, a multi-bit driver. These are generally more complicated to manufacture as you need to be able to make a shaft uh, with a pocket with particular tolerances, as well as a way to hold all those extra bits. The obvious advantage is that, when done well, this allows you to have a whole arsenal of screwdrivers in one. But the major downside is price and generally quality. For the same price that you could get a pretty nice and perfectly functional fixed shaft driver, you'll find your multi-bit options are pretty limited and the quality to be a bit lacking. The LTT driver is of the second variety, a multi-bit driver with in-handle bit storage. What sets this apart for me personally is the quality, but we will get to that in a second. For now, let's talk about all those all-important features. The first, and I think most important, being the ratcheting functionality. A ratchet is a mechanism that allows you to not have to remove your tool from whatever you're trying to apply torque to in order to complete your backstroke. This allows you to get a lot tighter and more difficult locations when applied to something like a wrench. With a screwdriver specifically, it allows you to tighten and loosen a lot faster and in a much more ergonomic way. This ratchet gives you the ability to set it to lock on right turns, lock on left turns, and lock on both if you want to use it similarly to a fixed shaft driver. Another great feature, which was particularly important to the LTT team, was the magnet embedded in the shaft. This allows you to reach down into tight places and not have to worry about your screw falling off the driver. This is super helpful for PC building particularly, because there are a lot of things that you kind of need to screw in, uh, which you can't always reach your other hand in to hold the screw while, while, you're, while you're screwing. And the last feature it offers is this really beautiful bit storage compartment. 
it allows you to store up to 12 bits if they're of the smaller variety, and 6 if they're larger. Included in this compartment is a component they lovingly call the Ninja Star, which is intended to separate the bits when they're being stored, but can also rotate out of the way for storing larger bits. All in all, the execution of these features is top-notch, and the quality of the manufacturing, while not flawless because nothing is, certainly is impressive. And speaking of quality... For me personally, a lot of what makes a product high quality is how it feels to use and hold. For something like a screwdriver, where that's the main affordance, and the thing you're going to be doing with it basically 100% of the time, that is especially true. There are a lot of things to me that lead a product to feel great in the hand. The textures, the materials, finishes, and weight, and all the macro and micro textures employed. This screwdriver hits all those marks perfectly for me. The materials feel premium, the finish has this really satisfying soft touch feel to it, and the textures they use for things like the knurling and the mode selection knob and bit storage compartment feel really great to use. I never have any problem getting purchase on any of the components that I need to interact with. This feels quality the second I pick it up. And sure, about 70 bucks for a screwdriver seems pretty crazy. And if you don't use a screwdriver very often, yeah, that would be a pretty bad decision. But for those of us who this was made for, i.e. tinkerers, PC builders, and just general makers, the quality alone justifies the price. Something Linus is known for saying is that there is no such thing as a bad product, only a bad price. And while of course there's nuance to that statement, I think in general it holds true. And this product is a perfect example of that. Yes, 70 bucks plus shipping from Canada is a lot to spend on a screwdriver. However, given the quality and functionality present in this particular screwdriver, I actually think it's pretty fair and I would argue even a bit more on the affordable side. This screwdriver goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with similar offerings on the market, which can go for up to about twice the price. To be clear, I'm not here to do any kind of objective analysis on this screwdriver's performance per dollar or anything like that. If you want that, I'm sure you can find it on other YouTube videos. I simply love the skill on display here, which was required to make such a beautiful, delightful product that doesn't actually break the bank for what it offers. From what I can tell, if you're seriously looking into ratcheting multi-bit screwdrivers, this is probably the best bang for buck on offer. And the incredible quality on display here just adds to that experience for me. Like I said in a previous video, for me, a lot of what makes a product great lies in what it's like to use. And a lot of that is down to how it looks and feels. I personally don't love the Home Depot style that many tools generally take with bright colors and big, chunky, over-molded rubber grips. And while for a lot of people buying tools, the functions on offer are far more important than those other factors, I do think that the elegance that the LT team, with help from white box designs, have brought to this particular product, elevate it among its competitors. And another thing I think is super important to take into account with this is the ethos of the team behind this particular product. Which brings me to... I think one of the things that I find to be hard to, well, find in the world of influencer products and collabs are products which are made by passionate people who are willing to go the extra mile and take the risk of delaying or even outright canning a product launch because the final samples were not up to their standards. This is something I respect a lot about LTT, LMG, and Creator Warehouse in general. And I want to make it clear, I'm not saying they're perfect, or haven't made any mistakes, but I genuinely do find it to be refreshing to see that when they do make a mistake, they're straight up about it and don't try to brush it under the rug and hope you didn't notice. And I really respect how they apply this approach to their product development as well. One of the reasons I bought this screwdriver in the first place was because I had been following their development journey through all its ups and downs, and really respected their commitment to not let a product with their name on it release that didn't meet their quality standards. Now, I can't speak for the true values at the hearts of the people behind these decisions, but what I can do is judge them based on their track record, and their history of not only releasing high-quality products at fair prices, 
but also supporting those products through any issues that may arise. Because issues will arise. No product is perfect, and no manufacturing process is perfect either, so defects and fundamental flaws are going to happen. But I think what really sets companies like LMG apart from the rest is their commitment to making those issues and faults right no matter what the cost is to them. And I think a perfect example of that approach is the recent zipper pull issue that was found to be present on their backpacks. The basics of what happened was that they found the zipper pulls to be prone to breaking if stress was applied on the latch laterally. So instead of just saying, oh, we'll give you a $20 gift card, have a nice day, they did that and, at great personal expense, did the R&D to figure out what the problem was and how to fix it for future bags, and developed a whole replacement kit for those affected customers so they could fix it themselves. That is the kind of commitment to quality, not only in the product itself, but also in everything surrounding the product that I wish we saw more of from other companies. And I hope that if I ever end up making and selling merch that I can hold myself to these sky-high standards. All in all, I just wanted to make this video because I want my channel to be about highlighting designs I think exemplify great design, and take a more positive look at those products because I think oftentimes it's far too easy to try to find everything that's wrong with a product, and while that's certainly important and critique is a very healthy part of a product release, I also think it's important not to let that overshadow the accomplishments made by the teams of people behind those products. But what do you all think? Have you picked one up? Do you think you're gonna? Either way, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.